with the Virgin is very different. I, th I think, uh, well, you're nodding, thank God, you agree with me. But that's been my experience of BA over the years. You know, I've worked a lot with BA earlier on, and it was a company, still is, that believes it knows best. Virgin is still the weed to my heart, isn't it? So social media is great news, very dangerous news for us as marketers. We have to get involved. I agree with folks, test, learn, see what works. But approach it with some care, because it is a bit of a firework, really, that can go off in the wrong direction. So I wish you luck with it. Thank you. phrase of the market researchers, despite everything that's been said today, um, thank you for such excellent stimulus material. It was wonderful. Um, we are now going to start taking uh, questions and contributions from the floor. Please put your hand up if you would like to speak, and I will try and make sure I can identify who it is that, that is, uh, is to ask a question. I have to say, I think David Dimbleby has a much easier job, because you're all in grey suits and white shirts, but uh, we will do our best. Um, please wait until one of the roving microphones reaches you and, and please say who you are and your background before we start. And I can see Anne-Marie straight away. Hello, my name's Anne-Marie Hanlon. I've got a bit of an interest in digital marketing. It's um, a question for Fergus. How did you create the customer personas and did it involve physics envy? Thank you. Am I back on? Yes. Um, a lot of ethnographic research, another one of those buzz phrases, which basically means we sculpt and we looked in people's dustbins and we went through what they did. Now, now, realistically, we, we gave about 50 customers a diary, you know, a paper diary to keep for about two months. And every time they considered travel, could have been airline travel or train travel or car travel, um, we, they, they were supposed to make a little note and kind of, what were you thinking? Why did you think that? What did you do about it? That kind of thing. Our researchers then basically munged this all together and looked for the, the similarities. At the same time, they're asking people which, which newspapers you read, Sunday Times, etc. of course, um, at the Times. Um, where do you shop? How much do you buy? How many children do you have? So basically the whole range. And the five kind of peaks were pretty clear within that. I mean, you have to do a little bit of aggregation to make them you know, stand out, but basically that's, that's, that's the process. Ethnographic research customer surveys, and a lot of kind of data manipulation. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, Peter Drake, uh, Chairman of the Technology Panel of the Information Technologists. And just before I start, you may be aware that the technology uh, livery and the first livery, where the 100th and they're the first, I just opened the Digital Media School this week in Hammersmith. So. Um, the question really is, uh, is all about the social networking and the capabilities which Rory said about how people behave. Um, I think we need to create a new name. I mean, social networking is great for people. It would be interesting from you how many actual social networkers are people who have actually got jobs. Um, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, we should have some sort of business networking or some other name which reflects how we can take this more seriously to in, in, uh, enhance both individuals and ourselves as, uh, as organizations. Any comments? I, I, I quite echo that, actually, because I think the, the, the phrase social networking makes people think of one very particular application of it. And um, actually, it's, it's a little more complicated than that. There are quite important, I mean, social networking purists, for strange enough, are slightly hostile to Facebook because they claim it actually isn't about anything. And that, uh, you know, they, they would actually look for um, niche, tight, very, very subject-specific um, networks as being actually more potent. I think the other thing to be, which I would say, is that I think it varies. If you look at the heuristics people use, and it's quite interesting, it varies by person. Some people are much more prone to uh, look at social proof and social pressure than others. And also it varies by category. 